All right, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing some Jackson Pollock painting, Jackson Pollock style painting with marbles. Um, here, I, I got a box here for my students for face to face. If you're at home, you could use a shoebox lid or a shoebox, or as long as you could put your paper in there. You're going to need some temper paints or watercolor paints. Um, you're going to want to water them down, and I use these little solo cups, but uh, whatever container you can use, and then you put the marbles in here with the paint, all right? I'm going to show you how to do it. Open your box lids, of course, so let's go ahead and open this. I know the camera's kind of close up. Let's see if I can get the whole thing there, okay? So um, get your box lid open. That works better. All right, you're going to place your paper inside the box. All right, now um, I got these, I got about seven different colors of um, temper paint here. Like I said, you can use any type of paint um, you have available. You can make paint out of uh, a little bit of flour and water and food coloring if you want to. You take your marble, drop it in there, roll it around a little bit. And what you're going to do is get your marble out of there and just drop it down in the box and roll it around. And just roll it around until the paint wears off. Okay. And once your paint wears off, you just grab it. And repeat. Um, just drop it into a different color. Get your marble out of there. And the same process. Okay. Pick up the marble. You know. All right. This is a pretty fun thing to do. It's a fun activity. And you just repeat the process as many times as you want until you get the desired uh, effect or painting that you're looking for. All right. Jackson Pollock was an abstract artist, expre ex abstract expression from his uh, term he coined. Uh, art critics at the time dubbed his paintings action paintings. So as you can see, the action of the painting is what they were focusing on. The action or the emotion of the painting. Um, his paintings were more about the motion of painting. The process that created the painting than the actual painting themselves. So this is the process of this style of action painting. Okay. Now you can keep continuing. I'm going to go ahead and stop there, but uh, that's how you get it. 
is how you do it. All right, you can do repeat the process as often as you like until you get your paper full of paint the way you like it. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, have fun.